It's double trouble for the grand old man of Haryana politics. Former Haryana Chief Minister Om Prakash Chautala's rally hopping was interrupted by Delhi High Court and the capital's Tis Hazari Court. Chautala first appeared before the Tis Hazari Court in the disproportionate assets case. He had sought exemption from personal appearance where he was denied. Now he has to appear before the High Court at 2.30 p.m. over his bail plea in the teacher's recruitment scam. बल कोर्ट पक्का जाऊंगा बात सरेंडर करेंगे अभी हो अब वो हाई कोर्ट क्या तय करती है मुझे संबंध मिले मैं हाई कोर्ट जाऊंगा वेल राइट नाउ ओबी चुदा द सवा दो बजे मैं टाइम का पंक्चरों कोर्ट ने सवा दो का टाइम दिया सीबीआई ने ये बात कही कि आप चुनाव प्रचार वहां कर रहे थे इसलिए आपकी बेल एप्लीकेशन के लिए कोर्ट 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 क्या करेगी तो कोर्ट पे डिपेंड करता है लेकिन मेरे कोई कोई मेरे साथ मेरी बेल पे कोई कंडीशन नहीं थी At close to 11 a.m. today, former Haryana Chief Minister and INLD Chief Obi Chautala presented himself at the Thies Hazari Court in a disproportionate asset case where he had received the summons. The matter had been adjourned to the 20th of October. Meanwhile, he has received directions from this court to produce himself at the High Court in the JBT scam case where he had apparently violated his bail conditions by going for a political rally in the middle of a bail that he had received on medical grounds. And Gaurav Savant now joining us. Uh, Gaurav, the Delhi High Court, if you are, for our viewers, you can actually shed light on the timeline of this entire case. The Delhi High Court, remember, expressed disappointment yesterday over the fact that Chautala has been addressing election rallies in the poll-bound state after he was granted bail on medical grounds. Sanjana, the petitioner, told the court that he was taking the court for a jolly ride. Om Prakash Chautala, five times Chief Minister of Haryana, 79 years old, 70% disability, and when he sought bail on medical grounds, the, this is what his lawyers said, that he needs urgent medical attention and he should not be kept in jail. He's been convicted in the teacher's recruitment scam in Haryana. 10 years imprisonment and after undergoing imprisonment, uh, they moved for bail on medical grounds. While they were out on bail, Om Prakash Chautala crisscrossed the length and breadth of Haryana, addressing rally after rally and INLD leaders, unapologetic about his conviction in the teacher's recruitment scam, went to the extent of saying that he's been convicted for recruiting 3,200 teachers. If he returns to power and INLD thinks that he has a fair chance of returning to power uh, this time with 25% JAT votes in the state, they are saying this time he will recruit about 3 lakh teachers. So they say this is not a case of personal corruption uh, as in the case of Jai Lalita, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. This is a case where he's spread out the booty, distributed the money to deserving basic teachers, basic level teachers in, in Haryana. But I want to quickly bring in headlines today's Moshmi for more on this story. I also want to bring in Ashish Maharshi for more on this story. Moshmi, for the moment uh, when, when Om Prakash Chautala comes, take us through, take us through uh, what is expected to happen uh, in, 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 in the courtroom today because the court was extremely miffed when the petitioner said that he is taking the court for a jolly ride. The case in the court number 17 is after 2.15 p.m. Uh, Judge Siddharth if you talk about the entire timeline, if you see, it was the court that had sent a notice to the CBI and to O.P. Chautala regarding this entire bail, uh, bail case. And uh, the court had said that he has been happily uh, campaigning for his party in the election. The court was very upset over the way the bail had been misused. And uh, then the CBI had also demanded that uh, the, the surrender should be advanced before October 17th. So Mr. Chautala had time till October 17th. Clearly, uh, the, the, the difficulties for the INS 
the leader are mounting here because it's highly likely that the court will cancel the bail plea and he bail, uh, bail and he will have to surrender so tough times for the INLD leader and he would be arriving here shortly from now uh, all eyes set on whether what argument will he give actually in the court because he has been saying that he has been unwell and he does not mean to subvert the law and take the bail and use it for political purposes but clearly okay. if you see his actions but that is exactly they do betray what he ended the up doing given and ashish maharshi my colleague has been speaking yes yes ashish maharshi has been speaking to inld leaders he's been speaking to om prakash chautala's legal team here and ashish this is a case where he stands accused as a convict he stands accused of misusing the due process of law he is unapologetic about it very true in fact but you have to accept the fact that uh, you know uh, once the netas go, uh, goes inside the jail they also garner public sympathy and this is what uh, you know the inld leaders want and this is what is happening but yes the, you know the court was very unhappy uh, uh, whether it is the tees hazari court or whether it is the high court what is his legal defense you've been speaking to his legal team what's his defense no no defense as of now i have i've spoken to the counsel and they say that yes they uh, you know he has misused it and that is why he is making an appearance but then uh, you know he was his bail was cancelled uh, last month itself and there was a 17 day grace period he was supposed to appear on the 17th before the uh, before the court but then uh, the cbi in its application before the court they said that you know he has misused the application uh, the the bail granted to him on medical grounds okay. and uh, 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 you know uh, uh, but the court was also unhappy with the cbi because they said that they, sh they should have come uh, much before uh, you know okay. he went ahead uh, 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 you know going uh, crossing cross crossing okay. haryana okay so uh, om prakash chautala himself of course in his defense insists that it was unconditional bail that was granted to him and he hasn't misused the due process of law now at 2:15 he is expected in the delhi high court uh, we'll get you the latest on that in the court of justice siddharth mridul now uh, how exactly has this case proceeded so far counsel for petitioner uh, vivek tanka and also the cbi say that he got bail on medical grounds instead of being in hospital a hail and hearty om prakash chautala as ashish was also telling us and as you've seen on headlines today he's criss crossed across the length and breadth of haryana and why because the indian national lokdal perceives that it is in a position to make a comeback now om prakash chautala has been the chief minister of, of haryana five times he expects to make a big comeback for the sixth time is that possible let's take a look at how this case has proceeded so far abhi aapke beech mein chaudhary om prakash chautala ji pahunch gaye hain chaudhary om prakash chautala ji nawaz Out on medical bail, Om Prakash Chautala using his freedom for political purposes, hitting the campaign trail with vengeance. Headlines today followed the out on bail INLD chief on his campaign trail in South Haryana, and we found the grand old man of Haryana politics hopping rallies without any fear of law catching up. Chautala, who is supposedly sick, is out. campaigning for himself as the chief minister and for his party to come in full power yadav ko milne wali taakat bahut prakar se dala ko milegi but the cbi wants his bail cancelled for flouting bail terms his opponents are gunning for him but inld is busy playing victim to the hill inld chief has been on a rally marathon addressing rallies across the state for 8 to 9 hours daily since the day he got bail as far as the political atmosphere of haryana is concerned it has completely hotting up before the election race with camera person ajay kumar sena and anil sehag ankit tyagi for headlines today so om prakash chautala is unapologetic he says nowhere do the bail conditions say that he cannot criss cross the length and breadth of haryana it was unconditional bail that was granted to him moshmi what is his legal defense expected to be in court now the court seemingly miff the fact that he was misusing the bail provisions and the petitioner saying that he took the court for a jolly ride 
Gaurav, just tell me where does in which part of the world this happens? It only happens in India that a leader goes on a medical uh, b uh, bail and then he crisscrosses the uh, entire state. He releases a schedule of his rallies. An entire uh, schedule is released and uh, he has been rallying all over. And then he comes to his defence. So clearly here uh, he is on the defensive. He is on the back foot. And uh, they, even the council realises that they don't have much of a defence in front of the court because the uh, bail was given on medical grounds and that means that you are so unfit that you cannot stay in jail you need medical attention you're bedridden and so you go out on bail for medical reasons medical purposes that doesn't mean the various conditions okay. the argument that they're giving that nowhere it was written that you couldn't go for a political rally that doesn't mean that you catch uh, catch the nose from the other side and it's all right so it is clearly subverting the law and okay. he's going to face a tough time in court today Okay, Om Prakash Chautala, the former Chief Minister of Haryana, now stands accused of abusing the due process of law. That's not the way INLD sees this. In fact, Ashish Maharshi and I have been speaking to INLD leaders and they seem to think that Ashish, he could well be a martyr and get more votes by going to jail. Very true. In fact, you know, I was just speaking to his counsel. Now, uh, there were two things which were happening as, uh, uh, you know, we'll just repeat it for our viewers, that in a disproportionate a asset case, he was supposed to appear in Tisazari court. He had to make a personal appearance because he, were, he asked for an exemption. And the court was very unhappy with him that, you know, the, you know, no exemption should be given to him because he has been, you know, uh, as you had said earlier, crisscrossing the length and breadth of Haryana and he was all over the television screen even the CBI took time and that is why the High Court is also one very unhappy now he has to appear in the High Court at around 2.15 summons and notice of the High Court was was served to him in the Tis Hazari court now obviously as we have seen in the past Netas when they go to jail just before the elections, they become martyrs. There's no okay. doubt about it. And okay. obviously, we, we know that, you know, INLD holds a good chance now. And they could, search, you know, the 35% JAT vote, as you said earlier, could consolidate further. Okay. And then, obviously, they can get more seats. Okay. So, they're trying to make the, t make them take most of the advantage out of this situation. Uh, in about an hour and a half from now, Om Prakash Chautala will be in the Delhi High Court. He sees it from what we've been told by his party. He sees this as a win-win situation. Advantage Chautala five days before polling in Haryana.